mad long about food. I'm going hiking tonight. Good night, bitch. Enjoy yourself, bitch. Bring bring a flashlight. Uh, more than your phone. Bring more than your phone, bitch. You never know. So, anyways, so Hyundai was on some shit like It's true. It's just true what I say. Um, it's pretty tasty to be honest. The the caviar is very very nice. Um, oh bitch, I gotta tell you about my fucking Lyft driver. I love making people's day. I know I made that little man's day. So anyway, so look, so fucking, so me and my old fuck buddy or whatever, when we first like really fucked, like the first time we like had sex, it was wild because like he pulled out like a cock ring. And I never seen that shit in my life. Like I never seen a cock ring before. And so he put it on like his ball, like under his ball sack, and like put his like dick through it. And so yeah, girl. And so the whole dick was just like pushed out. Yeah, I was like, okay, so I was like, don't the uh, don't the veins already do the work that you're trying to achieve, like? What are you trying to do with your dick? I don't know, bitch. I don't be asking too many questions of these hoes. So, I let him keep on his, uh, I let him keep on his gear. I was like, keep your gear on, bitch. Ride with your nine. <laughs> do you want to ride with me? <laughs> Come and take a ride with me. My nine is gonna die with me. Anyways. Yeah, well, indeed. So, anyway, so, like, so, look, so, the first time we, like, actually fucked, it was wild, because, you know, it was good, it was good, um, but, randomly, um, after we was, um, you know, already fucking, he, like, slapped the shit out of my titty, like, not, like, on, like, a, he, like, beat it down, but he just, like, slapped my titty, like, it, it jolted me, I, like, I was, like, what, I didn't even say I was into that, so when he slapped my titty like that, I was, like, what, what the fuck, so I looked at him, and he was, like, you like that, and I could tell he wanted me to say, yeah, you know what I mean, but it didn't fuck me up, it just, you know, it just, it shook me, bitch. Who we was shaking the table? So I was like, "What is this?" So I was trying my best to like re- remain chill, cause like I'm goofy. It wasn't too hard, but it was just wild. It was just like I just feel like most niggas don't just slap a titty. That's not been my experience. Have you had that experience? I feel like I'm on Dora the Explorer right now. Snap if you had your titties fucking slapped, bitch. Like, that's not my life, bitch. Some of y'all niggas out here living and telling y'all fucking business. That's not me, bitch. <laughs> I can't deal with a cultist one. Goodbye. So, look. So... When he slapped me in the city, I had to tell my girls, right? You gotta tell your girls. So I was like, mm, I'm mad at me. Yeah, Karen, that was out of control. When you sent me that shit, I honestly was mad at you. Like that ass. Like, I that ass was like, y'all not gonna talk to Karen for a couple days. <laughs> Cause you sent me them titties all beat down, girl. I'm like, girl, who beat down your titties, bitch? Karen, dead ass, girl. I was about to ask you for your phone number. I was about to call a hotline for you, bitch. Titties was looking all fucking. Damn, girl, that shit fucked me up, girl. I was in my bed. I was worried about you, bitch. I was like, is the nigga gone? Is are you? Is this reporting live from a fucking closet, bitch? Is the nigga still alive after all this? Like, I'm just like, was there a great battle? Like, your titties look like they went through a lot. For real. No key, no shade. Um, I have so many sidebars right now, but I need to stay on, sto- on top of the story, bitch. So, look, so I told my friend, I was like, hey, girl, I met this man and he wildin'. Don't come for me. I was like, I met this man and he wildin'. And so... 
this nigga was just like, she was like, well, tell me about him. So I told her how we went out to go get food, and he ate my pussy the first time, and he left me a bunch of treats. And then I, and like, when I said that he left me a bunch of treats, I could tell the bitch was like, hmm, you feel me? You, you felt like a bitch was like putting it together. Like, I could see wheels turning and burning in this bitch's eyes. So I was like, yeah. Anyways, so I stopped telling her the story. And I tell her about my titty getting slapped. And she's like, what's his name? And I said, Zach. Zachary Binks. And the bitch was just like, girl, that's my ex. And I was like, love signals. <laughs> bitch, I'm dumb. But. My city wasn't the only city that got slapped. I had to find out from my friend. From all my friend, he's slapping all types. He's slapping her titty, my titty, our titties. Everybody titty getting slapped. <laughs> I'm sorry, bitch, I'm done. But, Meek, why do you care? Bitch, get off me. Uh, hoes be want a lead check like, bitch, pay me. Bitch, why don't you stay on topic? Bitch, this is the first time I've ever seen you. Bitch, I'm about to block you for that. For real. It's like bad enough niggas ask me for my like, Twitter in the middle of a story, but now niggas want to know, who long is your real hair? Bitch, this is my real hair, bitch. It's not an illusion. Girl, get off. Ugh, I hate people like that. Like, bitch, like, we don't even talk about hair. Just leave. Just leave for a buck, you. No, just leave. Just leave, girl. I got your LOL. LOL, bye. You I'm know what, though? I'm gonna help your ass out the door. I'm old. Some people, you tell them get out your house, they wanna be on your front porch talking shit. That's, it, it's weird to me, cause it's like, I could just gently kick your ass off my porch. I'm dead. Like, bitch, I swear to God, like, that's the shit that kills me. It's like, I don't, I, oh, I be popping off. Let's see. <laughs> it's like, I was just sitting there, like, giving the tea, like, damn, this nigga sounds like shit. But, <clears throat> no, he was texting some other bitch. Like, they broke up, like, literally, like, a year prior to me even meeting him. Or, like, maybe two years. Like, it was, like, a minute ago. So, it was kind of just, like, why do you care? You know what I mean? And it's not like I was going to be like, oh, yeah, come through. I don't know. It was weird. But, anyway, so, she was feeling some type of way. Um, occultist. Too many puns. You're killing them. So, it got, like, really fucking crazy at one point because my friend pretty much told me, like, if I fucked with him, that I wasn't really her friend. And I was kind of like, but this nigga is fucking on me so hard. Like, how can I stop getting tricked off for you? Like, you, like as my friend, you do not trick on me. Like, some friends trick on you. Like, she was not that friend. So I was like, bitch, like, you don't even be doing nothing for me. Like, this nigga be, like, hooking me up. Like, what are we talking about? Like, your friendship is cool. But... So, anyways, she was like feeling some type of fucking way, cause I told her that I was gonna dead him, but I didn't, and I don't think she found out, but I knew in my spirit that what I was doing was wrong, but I still fuck with him to this day, and so, anyways, so right before I moved, she was like getting hella comfortable with me, and he asked me to leave some stuff at my apartment, and I was kinda dead, cause like, I was actually... This is gonna sound selfish, but if I know I'm about to move, I don't like to tell people, like, before we fuck, because I don't want to have goodbye sex. I want to have sex that we would have if you didn't know I was sleeping. Maybe that's fucked up. But I don't want to have no, like, bomb-ass last fuck, because I've done that before, and it's awful as fuck. I don't know. I 
just didn't want to have sex with her. And so I didn't tell him I was moving, but after we fucked, he was asking to leave shit, and I was like, uh, I'm actually going out of town. <laughs> and he was like, for how long? And I was like, I'm not sure yet. And he's like, to where? And I was like, New Orleans. And he goes, oh shit. And then he's like, uh, so you don't know when you're coming back? And I was like, nope. And he's like, oh, what? See, no, I ain't doing that. Nope. That's not for me. That's never been for me. I've never wanted that. So, I wasn't ever going to consent to some shit like that. So, no. So, but afterwards, I could tell he was, like, fucked up about that. Because, like, he was really, like, caught off guard, like, shit. But it was weird because, like, I told him, like, all the situations leading up to me actually moving. It was kind of like, of course I'm moving, you asshole. Like, didn't you hear? Like, I've been telling you my roommates are doing all types of crazy fucked up shit to me. Like, what, you think I'm just going to stay involved in this? Like, to keep fucking you? Like, maybe not to keep fucking you, but you think this is acceptable for a human? Like, fuck no, I gotta get out of here. So, I was like, I just kind of felt like it was weird that he was seemingly, like, <laughs> caught off guard. And I told him for months that, like, I'd been having, like, a turbulent relationship with my roommate. And so, um, I left. And when I left, he was still trying to talk to me. And I kind of, like, I can't lie, like, maybe I'm shaky, but, like, I just don't want to talk to you if I'm not gonna be with you. Like, if I'm not gonna see you on the day to day. I want to play myself. Oh my god, what time is it? Oh, I told my friends I was going to go see Project Runway this Thursday. I really don't want to go. And it's like no shade. I just like hate going downtown. It like gives me anxiety. And I'm like, uh, but I, it's just not. I feel bad because my friends are like so sweet and so nice. But I'm just like, man, I should go. I don't want to. I don't want to just like be in my house. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm keeping 100. I love being in my home. Because, honestly, like, I don't know. Like, I just feel, like, so emotional right now. Like, I don't know. Like, sometimes I feel like I just, like, read so much about the earth. That when I'm in it, it just makes me feel, like, really vulnerable. Like, I just feel like, I don't know. Just interacting with people just, like, makes me, like, I'm just, like, I just feel so much more than I ever have, ever. Like, this is a great time of suffering for a lot of people. So, people are suffering all around me. I feel that shit. And, like, I feel like uh, dealing with my own suffering in my house, like, is easier than pretending like I can be a, of any help to anybody else out here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, on the day-to-day, one-on-one, like, it's just not realistic. I just feel like people are disenfranchised. And, like, I don't know. I try to do what I can to, like, make people not feel like shit, like, but, you know, what I'm doing is, like, it's not even, like, it's not even in the same realm, it's, like, whenever, like, something nice happens to you, even though, like, it's nice, it's, like, it's not taking away the pain of something else, so, I don't know, not to get deep and, like, fucked up, but I just feel like people are suffering, you know, <laughs> like, I'm suffering, I'm suffering, like, not in, like, a way that's, like, I'm suffering, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said it, but like, I'm suffering. Like, yo, sometimes my singing voice is like an old man from like the 19 fucking 30s. Or a cat that's like dying slash having an orgasm. Like, it's just two different sounds, but auto tune. Bitch. It's over.